as you might know, we've been doing a lot of work in trying to measure V6. Now, we're not the only folk doing it, but what we've tried at APNIC is to try and set forward a measurement that honestly sees all of the internet. And what we've been able to do is to do around, I don't know, between four to seven million of these tests every single day. And we've tried to make sure that the ad program really does span the entire world from the Faroe Islands to New Caledonia and every point in between. So this truly is a measurement across the entire internet. And we've also been going for some time, since around about 2010. So it's an extremely long line measurement. The results are kind of interesting. Certainly for the first few years, movement was slow in V6. Few folk did it, but mostly not. Um, then came this sort of the early pioneering efforts. Um, an ISP in Romania, a mobile telephone ISP, turned on V6. Belgium did an amazing job. Uh, T-Mobile in the United States uh, did a V6 deployment using 464X lat. And each time as they deployed, the numbers bumped. And this was cool, you know, you could correlate the numbers we're seeing with the engineering efforts behind it. So you can actually see individual countries and individual ISPs take it up. But momentum has slowed since the start of really 2018 and a little bit before. Instead of this constant up and to the right pressure, which is typical of the internet, we're sort of seeing it tail off a little bit. And that's interesting. And it's sort of trying to understand what was fueling V6? Because whatever was fueling it isn't fueling it to the same extent today. So the next step is to try and look at, well, what's the correlation between folk who deploy V6 and some other metric? Now, about four to five years ago, it would be true to say that V6 was a, a rich kid's toy. It was really only deployed in countries that had a relatively high GDP per capita and had a growing mobile market. So America was an obvious place to see it. Belgium, very high GDP, and so on. So some of the richer countries were deploying, but very few others, which was true then, but it's not true today. One of the largest pools of V6 users right now is India. Uh, the Geo product, which is basically a V6 rollout across hundreds of millions of subscribers, puts light at the case that V6 is only for the rich. And even in China, where the signs of V6 are emerging, it's kind of, this isn't an excessively rich country, quite the opposite. So it's not the rich.